Hello! Today is my day four of the challenge that I'm doing called the Master's Hammer and Chisel. Um, today is technically the rest day on my calendar, but my rest day has to be Saturday because I'm really busy on Saturdays. My husband is actually off work, so I like to spend time with him and make sure everything goes smoothly in the morning with my daughter. So I'm switching the days. There's a rest day for a reason, and um, if you'd like to look at the explanation directly from one of the trainers of the Masters Hammer and Chisel, Autumn Calabrese actually put up a really good video about why they created a rest day on a certain day, because you need to rest your muscles. Now they did it in the middle of the week, so you work out three days, you rest, you work out three days, and then you start again the next week working out three days. So in my brain, I'm like, okay, I just need one day during the week to rest because if I start working out again tomorrow and I finish the week, then I'm going to have three more days added on to that. So that's still six days in a row. So as long as I'm taking that one day a week, I'm working out six days, I'm resting one day, I'm good. So today I worked out and I'm going to rest on Saturday because your muscles need that and she'll explain everything to you. So today I'm not going to show you my workout. That's kind of boring if I show you the same thing every time. Yes, I did a different workout, but um, it's just weightlifting. So <laughs> you, can, um, you can watch videos from Sagi or Autumn or you can get your own master's hammer and chisel or whatever program you want that's weightlifting. What I'm going to show you is what I do after my workout. I am really hungry. After I work out, my body needs those calories to rebuild muscle, to recover, to get energy back, and to just make me feel better because food is fuel. You want to put the best thing into your body after you work out. Now, Beachbody actually has recovery formula that I usually take, but I ran out and I have to order it again. So, um, usually I just drink my Shakeology afterwards. Now... The reason why recovery is important after a workout is because it has BCAAs and a lot of good protein, which you could look that up or I can explain it to you extensively if somebody asks for it. That's great. Um, Shakeology is not a protein shake. Yes, it has protein in it, but it's just a shake com comprised of so many superfoods um, that it helps your body to function the way it's supposed to. So. Um, it can reduce inflammation, it helps you have energy, and it's made of all natural foods. It's not something that's chemicals, um, there's no GMOs in it. They try to be all organic, but it's kind of impossible because they go around the world and not everybody is certified. So they really put a lot of good things into this and they try really hard to make it the best quality possible. And that's why it is kind of pricey. Um, it might sound pricey all at once, but think about it, you're breaking it down into meals. How much do you actually pay for a meal that you eat? So my favorite Shakeology recipe is chocolate. Now they have vegan version as well, but for me I prefer the regular chocolate. So I put a scoop of chocolate into 10 ounces of cold water. The reason why I like cold water is because it helps the Shakeology um, have a little bit more flavor. It goes down easier when it's cold for me. Um, if things go down easier warm for you, that's fine. Then add half of a banana. In my meal plan, half of a banana equals one serving of fruit. The whole banana would be two servings of fruit. I don't want to waste all of my fruit servings on just one banana. So I use half of it, and then I put the other half either in the freezer, the refrigerator, or I give it to my daughter. Then. I'm going to add two teaspoons of all-natural peanut butter. All-natural peanut butter means there's only peanuts in the ingredients, okay? You do not want to have sugar in your peanut butter because it's going to completely ruin your nutrition plan. Okay, I'm going to blend it up and then I'll drink it. Okay, I spared you the loud blender. Um, I'm actually going to drink this Shakeology. It's not for show. I don't spend a lot of money just to throw it in the garbage. I truly love this stuff. So, cheers to a good breakfast.